Bionic Gloves presents the Hands-On Golf Podcast, bringing anatomy and hand function to the forefront of glove design to improve comfort, fit, and performance. Welcome everyone to this week's Bonnet Gloves Hands-On Golf Podcast. My name is Chaz Rao, I am your host, and I'm here to help you become a better golfer. Now, I don't have all the answers, but you send me lots of questions, so I find the best PGA pros I can to help answer those to make not only you a better golfer, but me and everyone else around this world so that we can enjoy our game of golf even more. So let's get into this week's email, and it comes in from Patrick, and he says, Chaz, I hit the ball too low. How do I hit it higher? Well. Great question. We're gonna ask Barry Bonifield, the PGA pro here from Louisville, Kentucky at the Crescent Hill Golf Course, and he's gonna give us this answer in just a moment. But I just wanna let you know, Patrick, that for you submitting this question and us using it, you get, yes, one of those Mac Daddy Cool Bonnet gloves that we just love to give away. And you can partake in this podcast as well and get one by sending us an email to podcast at bonnetgloves.com. Now remember, if we use it, you get a glove. Thank you, Patrick and everyone. Let's go on the course right now with Barry and see how we can hit the ball higher and not lower. Let's get started. Hey, Barry. Hey, Chaz, how are you? Hey, I didn't mean to interrupt your game here, but I just happened to see you getting ready to tee off, and I've got another question for you, and it, it again, ties in with exactly what you're gonna be doing. Sure. Uh, a gentleman by the name of Patrick from Tennessee wants to know how he can hit the ball higher. He seems to be hitting it too low. What can you help us with? Help, help us get that ball up higher in the air. Patrick, great question. When the, as we hit the ball higher, of course, we get more hang time. And if you're playing on any type of a hilly golf course, you'll have a hard time carrying it to certain landing zones up certain type of hills or having the wind help from behind. So the hang time on the golf ball is very, very important. Let me show you just a couple of things that may be helpful to you. First of all, be sure that when you tee it up, you're teeing it up with at least half the golf ball over the top of the club face. So you want that ball positioned where you're going to connect because your, your club, we're going to try to catch the ball a little bit on the ascent with the club coming up slightly at the golf ball. Up slightly. We don't want to be coming down at it and de-lofting. See how that club is de-lofting? And so we don't want to do that. This club has nine and a half degrees of loft on the club face. We don't want to turn that into a 7.5 or a 6.5 degree loft club face. That's going to hit the ball lower. So you want to be sure that you're swinging slightly up at the golf ball. And one thing that can help you is be sure the ball is positioned off of your left heel. So be sure the ball is even with your left heel. Some people concentrate on having it even with their left chest logo of their shirt or jacket. So want to be sure your ball position is correct and then that you swing up at it just a little bit. Now one, one final thing, and this is so much of this is a mental scenario as you know as a golfer. When I stand over this ball and I'm getting ready to hit it, I want to be sure that I put about 70% of my weight on my right leg. And I want to cock my torso with about a three degree torso tilt. So instead of standing this way, I want to stand, just lean back just a little bit. So that at the top of my backswing, I am completely loaded on my right side and then as I start my downswing, then I can let my body turn to the left and that'll get that club coming in on a slightly upward angle to get that ball moving high up into the air with more hang time. That becomes very, very important, especially if you've had a tendency to hit the ball low. Now, without seeing you, I'm limited, but one of the things I do notice on a very regular basis is that golfers who hit the ball low tend to kind of lean into the shot prematurely and by the time they get there their weight they've they've slid their weight to the left and the club face is de-lofting and you're coming down at it much too much this way and it, it can get you going low so let me offer this be sure that you get your weight back here to the right and here's a drill for you some people call it a baseball drill and you take your back swing up here to the right and then as you swing in step in a little bit with your foot and let your weight transfer to your left side 
and think in terms of swinging slightly up at it when you do. So we just stand back here, step in, and swing at the golf shot. Here's what it looks like. We stand back here, and there you go. And that's going to give you a feel for swinging up at the ball and transferring that weight into your left side. Okay? I hope that helps you. Be sure to get that club moving up slightly at the golf ball, and uh, that should get you moving just right.